thank you all for, for tuning in. Um, uh, I am Tom Dispenza. And um, on the screen right now, you can see it says Chromastics Tom Dispenza. That is my cell phone number. Um, it's also the hotline uh, for Chromastics. And uh, anyone who works with any color line can call me uh, at any time, and I will try to answer your questions for you. Um, I don't know all the answers, but I will try. Now, uh, you'll notice the next line down there says um, uh, Chromastics was incorporated in New York in 2004, and we launched in Orlando at the premier uh, Orlando sh uh, show in the summer of 2004. Just information, I thought uh, it would be interesting um, uh, uh, for you to know. Um, oh, there's Bettina. Hi, Bettina. Okay, now let me move on here. Let's go. Oh, here. There we go. First of all, here's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to tell you how Chromastics came about, where the name came from. Most people don't know that I made that name up. I'll tell you exactly where it came from. The philosophy of Chromastics. And um, um, then I'm going to talk about why there's each family of color and other products. And then I'm going to talk about why there's each tonal family. And when there's things that are missing, I'll tell you why. I'm going to talk about the XL series and concentrates. Um, this is going to be brief and I am recording it so that anybody can uh, check it out at any time that they're interested. You can watch uh, this information. It'll be posted everywhere, uh, just like it always is. Okay. Now, here's, a, here's how it all came about. Back in 2003, um, pr prior to that, um, um, I was working um, uh, and I was the, the worldwide senior manager of education for the Clairol company. And I was uh, uh, working at headquarters in New York City. And um, after that, I, after uh, P&G purchased um, uh, Clairol, um, they got rid of all of us that were middle management uh, and above. And um, after that, I was doing almost nothing. And I was teaching a class one day in Brooklyn for Tony Finelli and a small group of colorists. Um, for those of you who don't know, Tony Finelli is a longtime um, a salon owner uh, in, uh, I think it's Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York, yeah. Um, at the end of the class, I was heading back to uh, Manhattan uh, where I lived at the time, and I still do live, and Peter Ciotti, whom I had met once or twice before but didn't really know, asked if I would like a ride um, uh, back to the city, and I said yes, and as the two of us were driving to Manhattan, we talked, you know, about a, a bunch of things, um, but um, primarily about color, and one of the questions that Peter asked me was if I could have any color that I wanted, um, and it, it could be a make-believe color, what would it be? And I responded that it does not exist. There are a few that come close, but it's not exactly what I want. And the ones that came close were um, um, logics and... Um, um, uh, the one that's all the, the one that they, I forget the name of it. Um, anyway, the, it, Logix was the primary one that I thought was one of the best in the marketplace, but that it could be even better. And uh, Peter said, well, why don't you create it? And that was the beginning of uh, our 20 year friendship and as co-owners of Chromastics, because uh, after that, after that uh, ride back to Manhattan, we started in. And at first we thought we were gonna buy into another company, but that did not work out. Um, um, it, it just simply didn't work. And um, so we set out to create a brand new product. And that's 
um, how chromastics came about. Now, the name of chromastics, um, it's a combination of two words. Chrome came from the Greek chrome, meaning color. And astic, chromastic, came from the word fantastic. And then we added an S because there's multiple shades. That's how we came up with the name chromastics. We, we, um, it didn't exist. Um, we made it up and here we are today, almost 20 years later. Now, we have multiple goals within our philosophy and each one of those goals is a little different. First of all, we wanted excellent color with minimum damage. Secondly, we wanted minimal stock because I think stock rooms are a waste of space and a waste of money. There's just too much color on the shelf. Uh, and uh, particularly when a salon has multiple brands and they have multiple shades of the same color, uh, black, for instance. Why in heaven's name do you need more than one black? <coughs> Excuse me. Thirdly, we wanted excellent color wearability. Fourth, we wanted to make sure that everything was intermixable. And fifth, we wanted it to be reasonably priced. Um, prices keep going up and up and up and up. And it's for two reasons. Number one, a lot of manufacturers are only out to make as much money as they possibly can. Um, the only time we raise money, uh, the only time we raise our pricing is when the cost of goods go up and they have gone up a lot. And I believe they just went up recently um, just again. The next thing that we said we had to have was ongoing education and it had to be realistic. The formulation and everything about the color had to be realistic. So let's talk about each one of these things. <clears throat> now this is the face of the technical and training manual. And at the bottom here, you can see where I said you can download it at chromastics.com. Um, there's no charge for the color manual. There's no charge for the uh, uh, formulary. Um, all the videos we do, we provide um, at no charge. We don't charge. We don't charge for anything educationally. Um, uh, why would we? We want you to use our color, and we want you to buy lots of it. Okay. So let's start with each of the families of color. Permanent color. Permanent color was created when you want both lightning and deposit at the same time. Deposit only color was for all scenarios when you only need deposit. Now that can be anything from corrective to refreshing because one of the things that even though people do it with lower volume of developer, time and time and time again, every test ever done has shown that when you refresh color with permanent color that lightens and deposits, even though you're using lower volume of developer, you still get continuous lightning action. You still get more um, eating up of the protein of the hair and the color fades faster and faster and faster. So deposit only color is what we came up with. And um, um, you know that I don't use any MEA in anything. And it's because of, uh, I just don't like MEA. I think it's a terrible chemical and it should never be on the hair. Um, however, it is cheaper and uh, you can use it and then claim no ammonia, even though it's a derivative of ammonia. Nevertheless, I don't care. Um, liquid toners were designed for toning lightened hair and refreshing color, um, um, 
hair, um, hair color and for um, uh, toning overall um, bleach outs. And it wasn't until later, after about six months later or so, when I started working with it, that I realized that there was another way that you could use it all together. And that other way was um, creating um, um, base breakers. Um, it's an amazing base breaker when you, when you change it and use it uh, properly. The XL series is a little different because I created the XL series. Peter and I had a lot of talk about this. We, we talked about this a lot. And, and he left it up to me. And I went out to other people to uh, create the powder lightener because I have no expertise in powder lightener but I wanted something that was a little bit different. And that's why the Chromastics Powder Lightener has uh, soy in it. Uh, it, it. And that's why it, even though it, it's a powder lightener, it leaves the hair feeling um, like the hair's never been bleached. And then there were the two cream lighteners, the XL, um, XL Super and the XL Cream. And they are for, for um, all three of them are for special effects, but the XL Super and the XL Cream have a lot of very specific things that you can do with them. And I'll talk about that in, uh, in a couple of minutes. And then there's the concentrates. And the reason that we created concentrates, and we, um, we only started out with um, uh, uh, three originally, um, gold, green, and uh, brown, um, neutral. Uh, but then we, we added red and blue later on. And it was because I realized that people wanted much stronger reds uh, than you can just create from regular hair color. And they also wanted, you want to be able to create um, uh, very new and different shades of color. That's what the concentrates are for. Now, neutral. Here's why we have each of the, the uh, families. True neutral should always appear neutral on white hair. In other words, if you put it on pigmented hair, it always appears slightly warm. And that's the way a true neutral should be. Now, I know that a lot of neutrals when you put them on white hair, are a little um, a little off tone. They don't look like true neutrals. They look either a little ash, or they're um, um, a little um, dirty looking, and that's because of the way that they're created. When we created the neutrals in Chromastics, we wanted them to be true neutrals that were on white hair and always warm on pigments of hair. Gold was designed to warm neutrals to give you um, rich natural color or be added to any red shade to prevent color distortion or to be used to create beige shades. Now, here's what this means. Red shades, when you mix red shades with neutral, uh, not red, not red violet, but when you rich, when you mix red orange shades with neutral, you distort the red color and it becomes more um, violety appearing. And it's because of the way the neutrals are created, the couplers that are used. So if you use gold, you can still soften red to any shade that you want, but you don't get distortion. Um, when you mix gold with either blue, violet, or green, you create beige, which most people don't realize, but that's how you create beige shades. And um, we gave you the option of, of, a, of a warmer or cooler beige. You can also create rosé beige, but that's another story altogether. Um, the red, orange, and red, violet were created 
um, to create multiple shades of strawberry, auburn, and chocolate. Now, um, the way that you soften it, remember once again, is you use gold to soften it. That's how you create all the different auburn shades. If you're using red violet, you can mix it with neutral. Chocolate is always a combination of primarily a neutral with a very small amount of either red orange or red violet, depending upon the appearance you want of the chocolate. And uh, strawberry is always um, um, a lighter version of uh, uh, red orange or red violet that is created by using either lightning cream or um, lighter shades of uh, gold. Blue violet was created to create tobacco shades when mixed with neutrals. And it also creates warm highlights on brown hair. And you can use it either directly by itself on the brown hair with multiple developers, or you can mix it with XL Cream or XL Super to get even higher lifting highlights. Let me see what's after this. Oh, the XL series. Now, <clears throat> first of all, the XL series can be added to any professional brand of hair color. It doesn't matter because it's um, they work with anything. Um, and I'm, I'm talking about uh, the XL Cream and the XL Super. I'm not talking about XL Powder. Uh, XL Powder is uh, uh, specifically to use by itself or to intermix with XL cream um, when you want to create on the scalp lightener. XL cream has 1.6% ammonia and it will lighten all shades of hair color regardless of the manufacturer. If you add one um, half of an ounce, which is 15 grams of lightning cream to any two ounce mixture, you then create one level lighter of whatever that shade is. If you put six or seven grams in, you create a lighter version, but within the same level. XL Super contains 3% ammonia, and it was created so that you can make any high lift shade you want, regardless of the tone. I know that um, most high lift shades, uh, we think about it as high lift uh, ash, high lift neutrals. Um, however, suppose you want a high lift um, brown. Suppose you want a high lift strawberry. You can create it by using XL Super and mixing it with any shade of color. Now, remember, when you mix three parts or four parts of XL Cream with any shade of color, that shade of color jumps up three or four levels. So if you're using 45 grams of XL Super and 15 grams of uh, 4N, light neutral brown, the light neutral brown, because it's diluted by the XL Super, becomes three levels lighter and it becomes um, seven, high lift seven neutral, medium blonde, a uh, medium neutral blonde. Every 15 grams, of super you add to a color makes it get one shade lighter. Now XL powder can be used for either on or after, off the scalp applications. And you can use it for lightening, for highlighting or complete bleaching. So if you mix it in, in, by itself, 
and you want and you want it to be a little bit creamier, you add a small amount of XL cream to it. Um, if you want to use it uh, uh, for balayaging, then uh, and you want it you want it to stay a little bit creamier uh, during the application. Um, you mix it with just a very small amount of um, um, uh, neutral, uh, excuse me, uh, clear uh, XL, excuse me, clear shades. Um, what's next? Okay, concentrates. Now, first of all, here's where concentrates are different than everybody else's. Whoops, I didn't mean to change that yet. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Well, first of all, um, chromastics concentrates are 100% oxidative. That means they do not work without peroxide. However, you do not add extra peroxide to a formula when you're mixing, when you're using a concentrate as part of the original formula. So if you're using um, uh, 6N and you want to make uh, 6 double N, then you add six grams of, of um, uh, neutral concentrate uh, to the 6N, but you do not add extra developer for it. So if you're using two ounces uh, or 60 grams of uh, 6N, you use 60 grams of developer and then add the six grams of uh, concentrate on top of it. The, each of them has a specific function. Now the neutral concent concentrates were created for better gray coverage and they create the double N series. That's why there's no double N series with chromastics. All you have to do is just add the double N series to whatever you're using. If you're using six, if you're using four N and, <coughs> excuse me, if you're using light neutral brown and you wanna create double N light neutral brown, all you do is you, you simply mix your, your regular 60 grams of, of a neutral brown, 60 grams of developer, and then you add 10 grams of neutral concentrate on top of it, and boom, you have double N. That's all there is to it. If you add, um, it, if you add less than the recommended amount, that's okay. It's just that by adding less than the recommended amount, you create a just slightly more opaque version of the color, but it's not a double N. Now the gold salt series was created, the gold concentrate was created to soften all reds, add warmth to all neutrals, and create the double G. Now most people don't realize it, but if you create a double G series, you do not need to add any neutral whatsoever. You get a hundred percent gray coverage with just the neutral series by adding neutral concentrate. Green concentrate was, was created to create soft ash and cool beige. If you mix green concentrate with neutrals, you create soft ash. If you create, if you add, um, if you create, um, you create soft ash if you add it in the amount that's recommended. However, if you add just a small amount, you create, um, uh, if to, you add it to the gold series, you create cool beige color. Now, red concentrate was designed to customize all shades of color. You can use red constant concentrate, which is just pure red pigment in any shade of color if you want to boost the redness of the color. And it's really strong. And if blue was created to, to, to give you 
the smokiest blondes and the smokiest brunettes. In other words, when you put blue concentrate in either a blonde or brunette, not only does it get smoky ash, it also looks a level deeper. And if you um, use blue and green concentrate together and put them in neutral uh, uh, colors, you create um, true ash shades. So neutral mixed with green gives you soft ash. Neutral, uh, not, not concentrate, but neutral colors. Uh, neutral colors mixed with blue um, give you smoky blondes and brunettes, and neutral colors mixed with a combination of blue and green give you true ash shades. Now, here's what the entire line looks like. Now, you notice how limited the line is. If you look here and you, and you count 5, 8, 12, 17, 19, there's only 19 shades of permanent color. With these permanent shades and with XL Cream, XL Lightener, and with these concentrates, you can create any color that any manufacturer makes in the world. That's the beauty of chromastics. If you look at, if you look at um, uh, shades, liquid shades, um, you'll notice that once again, there are only uh, 16 of them. But notice here, there are two um, liquid shades that are, um, excuse me, uh, strike that. I got off, I got off on a tangent there. Uh, then look at chromastics deposit only. Once again, um, there are 16 and um, concentrates are also uh, non-ammonia deposit only colors. Um, that's why they work with everything. And you'll notice these two shades, lightest golden beige and light golden beige. These two shades are the only blended colors in the entire chromastics line. And the reason that, I, that they exist, <clears throat> first of all, they give you spectacular, very warm, um, um, golden strawberry, uh, uh, rosé beige strawberries uh, um, color on bleached hair. But this one, lightest golden beige, 8G, 8GB, this one is a spectacular color on top of any brunette that's made. Any brunette, no matter who the manufacturer is, if you glaze with this color, for just 20 minutes, you get a spectacular high gloss finish on the hair. Now we move down here. Permanent color. Remember that the permanent color, um, I think I want to, I think, right, there's the permanent colors. Once again, deposit only. There's the deposit only colors in shades. Now, I haven't talked about clear shades. Clear shades is not a developer. Clear shades is made to dilute any other shade or you add one cap, whoops, I, again. You add one cap of clear shades to any um, color that you're working on, any color, permanent, deposit only, um, uh, anything you want, and you get extra shine from that color just by adding one capful. Uh, it contains a whole bunch of um, wonderful um, uh, um, proteins uh, that strengthen the hair. Mm. Chromastics um, shades, colors work with 10 volume cream developer. Um, oh, by the way, you know what I didn't tell you? Chroma when we created um, um, 
all of the Chromastics colors. We wanted them to work with any developer, any cream developer. And we did that purposely. And the reason that we did that is because um, it's really expensive to ship um, peroxide, which is primarily water around the United States. And because it's so expensive to ship, we thought it'd be easier for you and less expensive if you purchased color, if you purchased developer locally, instead of having us ship it to you. Now we do create, we do create um, uh, developers and we will happily ship them to you. But once again, um, it's cheaper to buy it, to buy it um, at your, uh, locally. Uh, what else? Uh, there's all the shades of chromastics. There's uh, the concentrate packaging is a little bit different. Uh, there's only the five concentrates and this was me back in 2004 when we launched Chromastics and these were my models at the at the uh, Premier Beauty Show. Oh my God, look at me. I have no gray in my hair. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, long time ago, almost 20 years. <clears throat> let me go back up. Let me, let me pause this part and I'm gonna open it up for questions now. Um, how do I get out of this? Stop the share. Okay, now I'm back. Now I'm gonna open up for questions. If anybody has any question um, about um, chromastics itself or um, uh, any questions about the products, I will be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, uh, um, let's see. Um, oh, um, Donna, ha Donna Hogg wrote XLP or XL powder. XL powder is the, the, short, the shorthand that we use in the warehouse is XLP. Uh, that stands for powder, uh, for XL powder. Uh, uh, Donna also says, what does she say here? She says she just added 15 grams to a violet permanent and made it a darker bluish violet. It's a beautiful shade. Um, what color, what level are the concentrates? Okay, um, here's what, here's one of the things that's different about chromastics concentrates. Uh, let me go back, let me open up this picture again. Let me go back to the screen share. Let me go back to, um, uh, where is, uh, what happened to my, uh, oh, here. How do I get back? I don't know how I get back to, um, <laughs> I don't know how I get back to the concentrates. Um, oh, I know. Here, shrink this. Here we go. Um, concentrates. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, now with this, forgot this. Um, let me go back to here. Anyway. The concentrates, Donna. Uh, the concentrates. Um, first of all, they're all level two. Now they don't visually look like a level two, but chemically and visually is different. So in other words, something that is a chemical level two can appear to be um, uh, visually, can appear to be a blonde uh, shade. Um, but the reason that it works and that it's, it works for all the chromastics concentrates by adding the, the, the correct amount to um, um, a formula is because they're all level two, which means even though they don't appear visually to be um, dark um, uh, um, uh, level two, which is uh, um, uh, dark brown, they are chemically level two. Um, uh, that's the difference um, between them. Um, oh, 
there. I don't know how I got it back. Um, how did I get this back? Can you all see this picture? Because I'm going to go back to here now. There's the concentrates. Can you all see this picture? Um, I hope so. Uh, I don't know. Uh, ah, there it is. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, let me go back to my questions. Um, uh, Sharon, uh, Sharon brought up something that I did I neglected to tell you, and that is if you're using um, clear shades um, just by itself as a shiner, then you just simply mix it with warm water, equal parts of warm water, and uh, you apply it to the hair, and you just get a high gloss finish with, that's loaded with all of the uh, the proteins. Um, will adding one cap of clear to any formula? Uh, no, um, by adding what one, one cap of clear is um, is approximately, I think, seven grams, if I remember correctly, and um, it does not lighten uh, any color um, uh, at all. Um, so you can add a you can add a, a a cap of clear, and it just gives you the same color but a shinier version of it. Um, will XL cream or XL Jamal ass super lift previously colored hair? Rarely, uh, not really. Um, it will a little bit, but you should not count on it to, to lighten um, uh, previously colored hair. Uh, Kara asks, could you use either five or seven volume for less damage on a refresher with either the deposit? Uh, um, okay, uh, Kara. Remember that um, damage to hair color comes from the primarily from the developer, but it's a combination of the developer and the ammonia. So if you have no ammonia and you have no uh, ethanolamine, MEA, and we don't have, a, we have no uh, ethanolamine in chromastics, then your, your, your amount of damage is so minimal that it's not necessary. However, in the answer to your question, yes, you can use lower volume developer should you want. Um, however, you might need to leave it on um, a, a longer uh, period of time because uh, color development is always directly proportional to the strength of the developer. Um, uh, Leanne uh, asks, is there any way to thicken liquid shades? Um, uh, yeah, you can. And you're, you're gonna think this is crazy, um, but it's the same way you thicken anything. Just put a little bit of cornstarch in it. N not a lot. Uh, just start out with a teaspoon of cornstarch or less and put a little bit in and then mix it up. The cornstarch does not affect the color. You still get the same lightning. Or you, excuse me. You, get, you still get the same um, color development that you will, regardless of whether it's permanent color, um, deposit only, or liquid shades. So the answer is yes. Just add a little bit of uh, um, cornstarch. Uh, base breakers. Oh, fascinating. Uh, Jill said I mentioned base breakers. Okay, here's here's interesting. Um, I think it's in. Uh, go to the uh, uh, go to the uh, Chromastics color manual. You can download it if you don't have it already. And there's a page uh, uh, in there about um, uh, base breaking and. Uh, originally, what we used to use years ago is it's no longer as applicable as it is now. Now, all you have to do is add um, a small amount of XL Super or XL Cream, depending upon what you're trying to achieve, to the to um, uh, liquid uh, 
shades, and you can create any color base breaker that you want. Um, look it up. Uh, all the information is there, uh, including timing, developer, and everything else. And hopefully that will do it. Uh, uh, oh, Holland. Um, would you recommend using Shades Clear as a gloss without adding any, any other tone? Uh, sure, if you want just a clear gloss, absolutely. Um, if it's after you finish a color, then you do not have to mix it with developer. You can just mix it with warm, uh, warm water, uh, equal parts. Uh, Tracy said, no, we can't see the picture. Yeah, it's, I can't figure out. Computers to me, you have to remember that I'm old generation. Um, I was born the same year that television came out, was available in the United States or anywhere in the world. That's a long time ago. <laughs> so our all level, um, Donna says she cannot see the picture. Okay, um, Donna, once again, um, all, uh, all chromastics, um, wait a minute, I can bring it up again. I can go screen share. Here it is. Keynote. Okay, share this. Okay, now let me go to here. There it is. And uh, let me open this up to big to big one. Now, you'll see, if you look at these, these don't look like level two colors. Um, this looks more like a three, maybe, you know, this looks like a three, this looks like a two, this looks like more like a, um, uh, a four, three, four. Uh, bright red is, it, it looks like, a, it looks like a, maybe a four, five. However, chemically, they're all identical. They're all made up of the same number of molecules. Um, and that's a, that's a thing be, we know in chemistry, how many molecules are in one um, uh, uh, mole of color. And we work with uh, um, moles uh, and not in, well, we, we relay things in grams but we really create them in moles. I know it's complicated, but I never wanna say the word trust me. I hate it when people say trust me, but these chemically, even though they don't appear it visually are all level two colors. Now, if you go back, if I were to show you, um, let me get rid of this and I'm gonna show you something, let me grab uh, let me stop screen share. Let me show you this uh, that I have right here. I've got to reach for something. Okay. Let me put this back in. Uh, oops, grabbed the wrong thing. Hold on. Oh, here it is. Now, okay, now, okay, now, I'm gonna show you something. Oh, oh my, unfortunately, I can't show you. I was gonna show you um, uh, examples from a, um, from a chart that, that I have that I cannot find right now that actually shows um, the level of hair color when it's one mole mixture. Um, gosh, it's so important. Hmm. Oh, darn. I really wish I could show this. Anyway, here's what I'll do. Um, oh, I, can't, I can't publish it because it's not mine. I can't put it online because it does not belong to me. Uh, it's proprietary. Um, too bad. <laughs> Guys, I can't show you what I want to show you. 
Um, Holland is asking, can you formulate the concentrates as fashion colors? Absolutely. But here's what you do. You use them, you use them in any strength that you want <clears throat> by simply mixing. You can use them all by themselves and get full strength, uh, bright red, bright blue, um, by mixing them with 10 volume developer. Um, or you can dilute them and make lighter versions of them by mixing them with XL Cream or XL Super or Clear. In other words, clear, um, um, Cream Clear. So you can do it, you can create a high lift uh, color, uh, bright. You can create um, regular lift. You can create deposit only, any level you want by diluting it with uh, XL Cream, XL Super, or uh, Clear, uh, Cream Clear. Uh, Kristen says, am I correct when I say that equal parts of the clear and any color with seven volume creates? No, absolutely not, no. Um, here's what happens. When you're mixing, um, at, um, permanent color with any seven volume, um, with seven volume, you never have um, a anything. Uh, you never have a demi. Permanent color is always permanent, even though you mix it with seven volume, and even though you mix it with um, um, a clear, it still contains ammonia. And regardless of how small the amount is, you will continue to get um, a lightning action. And um, it's always permanent color. Oh, um, uh, if, you wanna, if you want to create any level of color um, with Demi, uh, or, or when you say Demi, I'm assuming you mean deposit only, just use the, the difference between Demi permanent and deposit only. Demi permanent uses ethanolamine, uh, MEA, and it always breaks the base and always gives you slight lightning action. Um, uh, deposit only color does not use uh, ethanolamine. It uses um, amino methyl propanol as the alkalizer, and uh, you have no lightning action at all. Um, uh, Sharon Rogers says she uses cornstarch all the time. Good, thank you. How often can you use shades to refresh, Kara? Um, you can use shades whenever you have faded color, uh, anytime you want. Um, just make sure that you're mixing it with a 10 volume uh, cream developer. Going back to the fashion colors from Tracy, if you do want a lighter version of a concentrate, do you add 15 same of XL cream? Or... Oh, okay. Here's, here's what happens. If you want a lighter shade of of uh, chromastics. And um, I do have, I um, go to the um, chromastics website and look up um, the 25 shades of red. And that shows you red concentrate diluted with permanent color with um, super and with cream. Um, whenever you add 15 grams of anything, whether it's permanent, whether it's clear, whether it's, um, excuse me, uh, whether it's um, XL cream, XL super or clear, you lighten the X, you lighten the concentrates by one level. Every 15 grams lightens it by one level. 
if you, you can lighten it all the way up to pastel, should you choose by mixing a very large amount of clear, any product you want, clear with concentrates. Um, Tracy is asking about mixing permanent color with Kin Master's total control to make a demi. Um, um, I don't know why you would want to do that when you have identical demi permanent. I don't understand why you would do that. You already have um, what you're what you're calling demi. I'm calling deposit only. Um, I just don't have the damaging factor in it. Um, I don't know what Kim Masters total control is. Um, I've never used it and I've never used, I've never done anything with it. So I am completely ignorant um, about it, unfortunately. Uh, no more questions. Okay. Um, uh, wow. This is, I've been on for, I started it. Oh, I've been on less than an hour, 10 minutes less than an hour. Um, team, first of all, thank you all from uh, 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 for tuning in and um, uh, no more questions. I think I answered them. If you have any additional uh, questions, just send me a question. Um, you, you know you know my email, uh, Tom at uh, Chromastics or Tom at Tom Dispenza, uh, either one, and um, I'll respond or give me a call. I, mean, I love um, uh, talking uh, hair color. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to all of you and have a good day. This will be up and posted in the next couple of days. Bye now.